What's up, everybody? It's Ben Gothard here, founder and CEO of Gothard Enterprises and author of CEO at 20, a little book for big dreams. And today I want to do a little video, kind of a tutorial on using Facebook's audience insights. Now, what can you use this for? Well, you can use this to build your target market, to identify who the people are that you need to sell to as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a marketer, um, knowing who you're selling to, knowing your market is one of the most important parts of business. If you don't have customers, you don't have cash flow. If you don't have cash flow, you don't have a business. So today, I want to show you how to use Facebook's audience insights. Now, this video specifically is going to go into interest-based targeting because Facebook was one of the pioneers in interest-based targeting literally targeting people based on what they like, their interests. So this video is a little bit more geared towards interest-based targeting, but it is still a tutorial on how to use Facebook's audience insights. Let's jump on my computer screen. I hope you enjoy. Now we've jumped into my Facebook account and I went up to these three little bars right here and I clicked on audience insights now it's going to take you to this and this allows you to gain information and access information about specific audiences so if you want to learn more about the people that are connected to your page click there custom audience click there but for the sake of this example I want to look at everybody on Facebook and again audience insights when you go here, go to all tools, over to plan, audience insights. Okay, so here you see interests. And we're going to go in and we're going to find a specific interest that we want to target. And I'm going to show you how to build a full audience based on an interest. So let's say, for example, that we want to use some sort of sports and outdoors interest. Let's say we want to do basketball. So we're going to plug in basketball. And Facebook actually gives us a ton of data and a ton of information on this demographic. Uh, a ton of demographics on based on this interest however for the sake of this video I'm not going to go through all of these I want to show you one particularly useful strategy so you're going to want to go to your you're going to want to plug in your interest here and then go to page likes and this is going to give you different pages on Facebook that are related to your interests and these are the pages that the people who like basketball like these pages the most and so what we're going to look for and let's say for example we are actually selling basketballs so we're going to look for different pages that only people who would buy a basketball would look at. So let's check out NBA on TNT. So we know that the NBA is the National Basketball Association. There are 5.8 million people who like this page. There are tons of pieces of content that are related to basketball. Everything is basketball here. And so you know that anybody who's on this page is a fan of the NBA. It's a fan of NBA on TNT. And so you know that these people are interested in basketball. So let's say that this page 
is related to basketball. Okay, fantastic. By including this page, this helps us, oops, by including this page, this helps us to narrow down our audience even more. Because yeah, they, they may like basketball, but if they like the NBA also, then they're even more inclined to be big fans of basketball. So NBA on TNT, we know that that is one potential target for our advertisements. And we can actually target the people who like that page. But let's find some more. Uh, let's see. NBA memes, maybe not. Uh, LeBron James. So to people in the basketball world, LeBron James is known as the king. He is a phenomenal basketball player, probably one of the greatest that's ever lived. Now, I'm not going to debate whether or not he's better than Michael Jordan or, or any of that kind of stuff, but we can all agree that LeBron James is a very talented athlete. So, by going on his page and targeting the people who also like LeBron James, then once again, we are narrowing down our audience because we are seeing, or we're, we're seeing that a lot of LeBron James' page is going to be people who like LeBron James. And they they literally like LeBron James. They have liked his page. And so these are people that are probably fans of him and fans of basketball. And so when you combine a target of both NBA and LeBron James, and, and not both because you're also including basketball, then you are able to target people based on two different perspectives. One, whether or not they like the NBA, and two, whether or not they like LeBron James. And all of this, assuming that they already like basketball. So you can see the power of narrowing down an audience based on a few different perspectives around the same market. So if they like in the NBA on TNT, if they like LeBron James, and they like basketball, all those three criteria, chances are they're going to be somebody who watches basketball regularly, who enjoys basketball, who probably plays basketball. And if you play basketball, then you need a basketball in order to play. It's, it's part of the game. So if you're selling basketballs, then this would be the market or an example of a targeted group of customers that you would want to go for. Now, NBA on TNT has 5.8 million people. LeBron James has 22.98 million people on that like the page. So just with these two pages, and you can target these when you're building your audience, just with these two pages, you can already get millions and millions of people to target. So when you're finding people to target, go on the audience insights. Go see what's most related to your interests. And cross-target amongst all of these different pages. Now, and, and, and cross-target amongst them to find groups of people who would be very likely to want to buy a product such as the product that you are selling. Now, there is a little bit of an advanced strategy that you can put in place here. And I touched on it, but I want to highlight it once again. And that is hitting the same market from different perspectives. 
See, we are now at this point approaching people from a core interest, but also an interest, a page related to that interest. And that is the medium that they watch the, the thing that they enjoy on, as well as one of the players that they might be watching. Okay? If, if we're hitting them from two different perspectives, that's more powerful, it's more hyper targeted. But we can, the advanced thing to do is to keep adding different strat, different types of pages, different types of interests. So maybe they like the NBA and they like LeBron James. But maybe they also enjoy something like Dick's Sporting Games. Dick's Sporting Goods has tons of sports and outdoors equipment, including basketball equipment. And that's another 4.2 million people to pick from, to, tar to market to. And so, now that we have the television station, one key player, and a store, we know that people are very interested in the game. We know that people idolize those who play the game. And we know that people are buying things related to the game. So when you keep adding different audiences and restricting your audience down, down, down to something that is between 50,000 and I would say... Well, uh, let me, uh, I misspoke. Between 500,000 and 5 million, then you have an audience that is very precise. And it's very predictable who the people are that you're trying to target because you're targeting them based on their own interests. So keep stacking interests. Keep finding new ways to potentially find the same interest and do it based off of audience insights. And if you continuously master this process and, and keep trying to target people and adjusting, then you will essentially be performing interest-based targeting. You'll be utilizing interest-based targeting. So, there's not, like, a manual. There's not like there's, there's this manual that all the people who have ever been good at interest-based targeting have, and it's, it's a secret manual. That's not what it is. The people who are the best at this are the people that try to do it, that invest money in Facebook, invest money in advertising to test, because you can understand a theory all you want, but until you go out into the real world and test it, and make sure it works, and come up with your own theories, you're not ever going to truly understand how to do it at a fundamental level. And being able to target people based on the interests that they have is an incredibly powerful skill as a marketer. So, use interest-based targeting, understand your target market, and make more sales. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Now you understand how to use Facebook's audience insights in order to build your target market, to understand your customers at a more fundamental level.